Hey, what goes on, everybody, and welcome back to the AQ Worlds Let's Play. Like always, this is Ethan R. Pro, and today we're going to do probably one of my favorite things in this game is uh, Mogloween. When it comes to celebrating Halloween, I've always liked the uh, Mogloween event for AQ Worlds. I've, I like it better than pretty much any of the others. So, um... It's, they all start off the same every year, you get to go through each event, and then there's a new event actually around Halloween. So I need to get ready for that Halloween event by helping out the sisters. So, Bubble, uh, Mogolin would be my favorite time of year if it was more about candy than all the other spooky stuff. This year, I haven't had a single piece of candy, and I'm craving candy. I heard that inside these houses, all the creatures are carrying candy with them. So I gotta collect 20 of it. Actually, um... One of the reasons I really like Halloween is it's actually something we don't celebrate. Why can't I attack? Um, it's something we don't celebrate in Australia. Uh, we've never... We never really celebrated um, Halloween. When I was a kid, nobody celebrated Halloween. Now that people are using the internet a little bit more, um, I guess children have started to realize that, hey, you know, Halloween is... It's fucking awesome. You get free candy and everything. So, um, I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, Australians are catching on that Halloween's one of the best holidays because you get so much junk food. There was actually, um, you could get little, uh, pumpkin-shaped baskets and things, uh, baskets and, like, eyeball candy and stuff like that in Big W, which is, which we saw today, myself and Kaleido, but you, you never used to be able to get that sort of stuff over here, so I get really excited. Um, I don't know what's going on. Is AQ Worlds laggy? Uh, they having some server issues or something? I don't know. I'm getting a real weird delay here. Actually... Mogloween's always been laggy for me. Um, shouldn't be anything wrong with the internet. I've just set up my computer in a completely different setup. I have um, my desktop computer in front of me, and if I turn my seat to the side, my laptop's right there ready for um, if I want to play Guild Wars or anything like that, which is really cool. So um, this I forgot to mention this, but this video is actually going up uh, on a Saturday for me, I believe. Um, yep, on a Saturday for me. Uh, because this week I was with my family uh, in my hometown, so I wasn't able to release an AQ World. So this one's sort of just to make up for the one that I missed. All right, we completed Candy Graves. I'm surprised I haven't done any of this before. I might have done this once upon a time. I don't know. Uh, chocolate goodness. Out of all the candy, chocolate is my favorite, but it is so much harder to find. Chocolate is very well guarded by Pumpkinhead Fred. You have to fight them to get the chocolate. You search the Pumpkinhead Fred for five chocolates. Alright, so is this... That's Pumpkinhead Fred right there. Okay, so he has one spawn in this house. I think. Unless he spawned upstairs a little bit. My ear is really itchy. Let's just kill this guy and see if a different one spawns. Oh, you're back already, Fred. Ah, uh, God, 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 God. Here we go. Yeah. So I was meant to put up, um two AQ Worlds this week, so I might put up one on Sunday for me as well, so Friday and Saturday for the Americans, I believe. Yeah, I'll put them up, I'll put up two days in a row, just because I was meant to put up two this week and I missed it. AQ Worlds will start coming out on Tuesdays and Thursdays for me, which is like Monday and Wednesday for Americans, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, they'll start coming up Tuesday and Thursday for me. Uh, and then I'll have my other stuff Monday... Wednesday and Friday, and there will be other things on um, Tuesday and Thursday with my AQ Worlds. But yeah, so hopefully, if you know, hit that like if you guys are keen for two AQ World videos a week, maybe three if I feel like it on a Saturday or Sunday. I never know what I'm going to do on weekends, I kind of just wing it. Alright, we turned your stuff in, so um, we got to help toil. Oh, just straight over there. Don't even worry about it. What if I get any like decent amount of XP for this? Chilling costume. Alright, hmm. I really want to create a really cool Mogloween costume this year, but I don't want to have the same thing everyone else has. I don't like the spider guys, hockey mask spooky guys, or powerful rangers. I want a costume different from everyone else, and for that, I will have to do it myself. If the costume is great, this will help me gather more candy. Can you bring me 10 pieces of fabric from the ghosts inside the house? Alright, that's pretty easy. Let's kill the ghost. I think you can get these guys as a pet. I would like that. I want a, I want a pet ghost. Uh, if I kill you, Fred, will you let a ghost spawn? Come on, Fred. Come on, Fred. Yeah? No. Damn, Fred spawned again. Alright. 
I might go out of here. Which house am I in? In the middle house. I'm gonna go into this house because it has more ghosts. Oh, my mana's low. Oh, why am I using. Ah, uh, I guess Vindicator, they sort of make sense, but I can use Mindbreaker now, can't I? Yeah. Um, so somebody commented on one of my Dungeon Realms episodes asking what I thought of the Oracle class that's coming out. So, um, if you, if you put a comment on a Minecraft video about AQ Worlds, I'm usually going to ignore you because it's just rude. Um, you know, the Minecraft people don't comment on the AQ Worlds videos complaining about stuff or asking me questions. So, um... Yeah, I just ignored that. There was one guy I replied to today who put it on a Dungeon Realms episode, but that was because he was asking when my next AQ Worlds was, which does is really annoying as well, but I still replied. Um, so yeah, the Oracle class is it's 100% free, and it's for the million Facebook likes or whatever. Um, it's a free class that I'm going to get to play with. Uh, if it's good, I'll be really happy. I don't, I haven't looked into it at all, so I can't really give you my proper sort of opinion. I guess, um, I don't know any of the details about it. Oracle class sounds cool, I hope it has a heal, I hope it's a useful class, I hope it's not just like, I hope they don't give us a crap class basically, and it's free bank, so even if it is bad, I'll just bank it, and all will be well. I won't be getting it on Magic Bus, so. This is terrible. We don't have any place to store our candy. I've been, I've seen big pumpkins inside the house that can make a great storage place for candy. It would be great if we could store candy for the entire year. Can you collect six pumpkins and bring them back to us? So, six pumpkins. Is that from these guys? No? I don't, I don't get it. S collect six pumpkins and bring them back, right? Doesn't that mean I kill Pumpkinhead Fred? Ah, yeah, I do. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's better. How did you not die on those damn AoE attacks? Come here, Fred. I am looking forward to seeing the Oracle class, because if it is useful, I will get to use it on Hot Pixels, which could make the Let's Play easier. It could make it more fun. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to train it up straight away or anything like that. I probably should, because then I'll get some um, levels as well, since I'm still level 27. Really need to get over that level 30 mark, huh? <laughs> and I hear the top level is 55 now, so... I'm way behind. I didn't even know that the level cap had been raised until I logged on for the Let's Play the other day, so. There was meant to be a website going up um, for AQ Worlds YouTubers to like um, help us with monetization of the videos and stuff like that, because monetizing AQ Worlds would be great. But um, that hasn't happened. Even though it's going to, though. They said, they said it was going to, so it's going to. It's just, yeah. Lollipop potion. I'm trying to come up with the ultimate lollipop margarita um, potion. I need only the best candy there is. Underneath this house is a secret passageway that's full of jack of dooms that carry lollipops. Go to the passageway and, great eight, and grab eight lollipops from the jack of doom. Okay. Uh, I think I just pressed do not... Oh, I have to be standing on that door. Oh, there we go. Hey, Blister. What up? Jack of doom. Hi there. Oh, wow. You're strong. Boy, howdy. Are you strong? You're a pretty high level. I might have to get Vindicator Day out for this. Oh, this guy's gonna heal. Okay. Well, I'm gonna build up my, um, thing. Come on, brain fog. Somebody commented on my last video, or one of my other videos, you do no damage, lol. <laughs> Which is really funny, because, like, for a level 27, because I have Mindbreaker and Vindicator Day, I probably do way more damage than the average level 27. And I know that that guy probably has, like, Pirate Class, Warrior, maybe Paladin if he's a member. Like, he would have, like, crappy classes. And, yeah. I don't really know. I don't know. Some people surprise me. Some people really surprise me. Especially since, like, I'm level 27. I'm not meant to do that much damage. I don't know what my max hit is, though. Don't go asking me that. I know I can hit really good with Mindbreaker if I want to with this damn Brain Fog. And if I had the right enhancements. Hey, attack. There we go. How many do I need? Eight. I got five. That's not bad. What is What class is this guy using? Uh, what's his name? Titanith. He's using Paladin. Wow. At level 12, though, that's a pretty impressive guy. Paladin used to be a... Paladin used to be one of the only classes you could solo with, you know, back in the day. So, respect to you for using it, son. Alright. I just la I just started lagging. I got two more to go. <clears throat> And my voice just went funny. That was weird. Alright. 
Wow, it's 6.30 at my house already. We're, we have daylight savings now, um, where we turn our clocks an hour forward for some reason. We only do it in some of the country, not all of the country, though, which is even stranger. But um, for some bizarre reason, whenever, we, like, I don't know why we do this, but when we do it, it is still sunny outside. All the bats are about to come in, which you can probably hear in the background. Actually, I didn't even think of that. I'm really sorry if you can, guys. Um, I might actually get up and close my window after I... Yeah, I finished this quest. I'm going to get up and close my window after I turn this in. Because I just realized you could probably hear the bats in the background. Um, which would really suck for me. Oh, wait. I come up with the wrong house. But, yeah. I need to, um... I need to really close that window. Because the bats will get louder. Because now that it's getting dark in the afternoon, they're going to come into town to, um, sleep in the trees. Alright, guys. So, I unlocked the second one. Yep. Alrighty. I will be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Um, sorry about that. Oops, I didn't mean to press that. Um, you probably can hear bats in the background if you turn it up really loud, which kind of works because it's Mogloween, you know. I'm not sure if I'll be edit able to edit them out because they are really quiet, but I will give it a go, so don't you guys worry. Um, there are rumors that Blister holds the ultimate candy. It is called the mystery candy. This piece of candy is very rare because it can become any flavor that you desire. If I had my hand on a few of them, I would be so happy. Can you bring me back three pieces of the mystery candy? Of course I can. I would love to bring you back mystery candy. Wait, did I accept that quest? God damn. Yep, I got it. Wait, let me down a hole. Let me down a hole. There we go. What up, blister? Fool. All right, one. Two. I'm gonna... Three. Three's probably enough, because he's... Wow, I missed. What a useless attack you are. One. Let's just kill him this time. We'll build it next time. Don't you worry. We'll build it next time. Alright, we got one mystery candy. Thanks, paladin guy. I think I can handle this on my own, but thanks, paladin guy. It's the only problem with my new microphone is that it picks up foreign sound so easily. Whoops. Alright. One. One brain fog. One brain fog. Two. No, I missed. God damn. Wow, I missed again. Okay, I need to fix the enhancements on this, don't I? Wow, I missed again. Wow, well, maybe it's just because my character sucks. Alright, that's two brain fog. I don't know if the other one faded, though. Because I missed so many times. That's about three. It's four. Let's go bang. Oh, yeah, 2,555. See, it's not that hard to hit high with Mindbreaker as long as you um stack brain fog anyway. Alright. Alright. See, I get 2,555, that sucks, I'm a level 55 who can use shaman and I can hit higher than you, so that your damage sucks, it doesn't matter that you're half my level, your damage just sucks. I can hear the comments already, I'm, seriously, I can predict these things, you know, the inability to understand that I'm a different level got different enhancements, everything like that. People were just like, no, everyone's exactly the same and you're not hitting as high as me and therefore you suck. Silly, silly people. Alright, but then again, there are 99.9% .9 of you who don't do that, so thank you. Alright, girl, what did you want me to do now? Alright, we got enough of that. Can't have enough. Wow, this mystery candy is amazing. It has all the flavors that I like in a single bite. I can't control myself and ate all of them that you brought me already. I need to have some more. Could you go and get me five? God damn it. She's an addict, yo. Pretty sure um, wizard enhancements on Mindbreaker are better. But let's see if we can get to shop. Battle Mage class, more class, Cookie Helms, Taco, 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 Enhancements, um, Wizard, let's go Wizard Armor Enhancement, we'll just put, just put the armor on there, just so we have a bit of intellect there, um, let's see how we go now, I attacked the wrong thing, that always happens, one Brain Fog, Brain Fog hits really low, for those of you who haven't used Mind Breaker, Brain, brain Fog is what you stack, and then you use your last ability, because every brain fog, incre brain fog increases the damage that you then do. So, I'm pretty sure that's five brain fogs there, and I hit a 3.6k. Yeah, that's pretty much how Mindbreaker works. Um, and your heal is great, because the lower your HP, um, wait, what is it? Also, healing yourself for half the difference between your maximum and current HP. So, the lower your HP is, the bigger the heal is going to be. 
So one brain fog. That guy attacked the wrong thing. Two brain fogs. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Three. The other guy will heal me. It's okay. Yeah, see? Four. And then five if we don't miss. And then if brain uh, ESP, ESP is might doesn't miss, 3,800. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, this class, really. Um, if I'm able to stack it up like that, I can do decent damage. Um, I do better than Vindicator of They. Although VOT probably does more damage in the same amount of time because of all its dots. But still, Mindbreaker is a lot of fun to use. Um, I wonder if I can kill it faster with VOT when, like, I'm only using Brain Fog and ESP as Might, so I guess, you know, I could be using this in between, getting them extra little hits in there, and then just dropping that Might when I need to! <laughs> Let's use VOT and see if they, um, see if it feels faster with the damage over time. Because I can drop Super Taster, Massive Inconcessant Gas, and then just use the Heal for extra DPS. Because, um, uh, yeah, actually, this feels pretty quick. You just always drop the super taster whenever you can. But I guess your mana becomes a problem. Ah, damn it, I should have used sun. Wow, actually, that that list is back. No, thanks. That felt really fast, actually. Um, I guess... Um, Mindbreaker is really good because I can hit multiple targets for heaps of damage. But the damage per second that comes off um, Vindicator of They, when you use the damage over, the two damage over times that it has available to you, you really do do, you can do do, <laughs> do do, you can do a lot of damage really quickly. And Sun only has a 10 second cooldown, which is pretty crazy. Um, since it's so overpowered, because Blister's Chainsaw, I might have that. What's Blister's Chainsaw look like? I really want to get Mogloween gear and keep it on me because it's like my favorite. Oh, I cleaned my inventory by the way, guys. I um got rid of all those extra things. Uh, whoever commented that you could just like spam click um, delete item and then spam click yes, you're a genius. I can't believe I didn't think of that, but thank you very much because yeah, now now I've got everything. It's all G. I'm all good now. Why? Oh yeah, I got a candy. So yeah, whoever, I can't remember what your name was, but you commented that and it saved my life, because yeah, it really did save a lot of time. I don't know why I didn't think of it myself, but you know, I, oh damn it, I just wasted my super taster. Alright, doesn't matter, because it's got like a, a five second cooldown, it's crazy. So you get two super tasters in or whatever, and then you got sun again. Freaking drop that super taster, sun! Sun! Yeah, see, look at that, that was easy! Wow, VOT is actually great. Maybe the Mogloween creatures are just weak as well, though, to be totally fair. But you know, I'm having a lot more fun now that I'm thinking about the class. Alright, so that gets those three done. So I guess we can finally go and help that other chick into the backyard. Oh, God. Just can't get enough. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the shops because I'd love me some Mogloween gear. Lame. 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 None of this stuff is rare, but um, I'm so sick of the rare thing. I, I'm just gonna get stuff that looks cool. Which, there isn't much that looks cool. The chainsaw doesn't look bad. And none of this stuff costs all of it. See, look, all of this, none of it has, a, none of it is ACs. That's so great. The upgrade shop. Ah ha ha. Oh, I should get all, like, I should get all, um, I should probably dress all Halloween-y, shouldn't I? I would love to dress Halloween. I wonder if there's a Pumpkin Lord armor. That isn't, that like looks just like Pumpkin Lord, not the lame one. Alright, what are your quests, girl? Squash the king. Alright, as the sun sets behind the howling moon, the Miscroft pumpkin patch begins to shake. A huge monster bursts through the soil. Its body is the shape of a giant pumpkin, sprouting huge vines that grab nearby victims. The great pumpkin king is here! And trick! He's here for your treats. Defeat him is the only way to gain access to my graveyard. So bring me back one pumpkin seed to show me you a victorious outcome. I'm actually going to farm this guy quite a lot um, because I want Pumpkin Lord and I want the sword. So um, for those of you who actually do play a lot, uh, or for those of you who are interested, uh, keep an eye on my Facebook, my Twitter, and my YouTube because I will be posting like... um what times that I'm farming him, like, I'm farming right now, come and farm with me, that sort of thing, because, yeah, I really want to farm this guy quite a lot, I'm gonna see if I can take him with VOT, I don't think I can, I think he's too strong, but, um, let's find out if we can get enough damage to squash his damage, because, um, 
is pretty good. I want Alpha Omega. How do I get Alpha Omega without ACs? Because that's a class I miss, but I guess that would kind of make the Let's Play a little too easy. Because Alpha Omega is pretty overpowered. I'm not going to be able to kill this guy. I don't know how to use VOT to, like, solo. I don't know how to do it properly. And he's hitting more than I heal, I think. I'm not sure, actually. I don't know. I'm getting them heals, but that's because I'm getting dodged, not because I'm good. What's my VOT enhanced at? Because I know it's meant to be Wizard. It's only level 25. I can up it by two levels now. Oh, this guy's going to help me anyway, so we're all good. Guy, get on here. Yeah, that's him. Attack. You can do it. Well done, young man. I probably wasn't going to win. I don't really know, but I don't think I was going to win. I'm gonna. I'm just going to say, I missed. I'm going to say that I was going to lose. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was going to lose. Uh, so with, um, while we're all thinking about it, hey, that sword's kind of cool now that I think about it. Um, since we're all talking about it, well, we're not, but... <laughs> Since I'm thinking about it and we're recording, um, with the uh, website that's planning to be put up for AQ Worlds, I actually tweeted Alina and she replied to me and said there's a, there's a website going up to help YouTubers with YouTube monetization, like how to get in contact with the AE team or whatever. So um, with that being said, I would really like to sort of get my voice out there onto the AQ Worlds community. So all of you guys who do watch and do enjoy my videos, and you want to see more of them, um, I need you guys to spread the word somehow, you know, like, favorite the videos, share them on Facebook, stuff like that, I don't, I don't even know how it works, but, um, every, every little bit that you do is gonna really, really help, so yeah, I would just want to grow the AQ Worlds community quite a bit, and I would like you guys to help me out, so yeah, that's how, that's what I'm asking, I don't know how long I've been recording either, so I'm actually gonna go check before we start this, so give me one second, guys, I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, we've got heaps of time for this. Have you spoken to Gravelyn recently? Just who does she think she is? Sending all of her leftover skeletons to my graveyard? Hmm. This is unacceptable. Do you mind purging my lands of the undead? It's the only way for the Cauldron Sisters to get back to their candy shop, eh? Shop. Two. I need for you to gather ten skeletons. I should be doing a female voice for these, but I really... I don't want to embarrass myself on the internet. So do I... Do I just go to... Join Moglawin Grave, is that what I'm, yeah? Alright, I get, I'm gonna use Mindbreaker for this. This is the best part, honestly, best part about having my Mindbreaker back is just being able to hit multiple targets. I love it! I don't want any of these things, because, oh wait, I do want these. I don't know what they do, but I have inventory for them, yeah, I do. We need Halloween outfit, that's, that's what I want to go for, I want a Halloween outfit. Um, so there's a lot of things I have to remember to say at the end of this episode, um, to sort of get you guys involved. Um, thriller. It's going to hit the wolf, isn't it? Oh, wow. It hit the, well done game. Knowing exactly what I wanted. <laughs> All right. I'm going to collect these candy corns and things. Cause I know there's going to be like a merge shop and it might have some cool stuff. Um, especially, you know, you never know what's going to come out. The new stuff each year, you never know. You never know. But, um, for the next few weeks, my episodes are going to be Halloween-y, as I play through the Halloween stuff, and then... Box of chocolates. Oh, no! What happened? Damn it. Everyone saw how long my password was. But it's not like any of you will ever guess it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, that's a bummer. <laughs> Uh, let's get this quest again. It's because I picked up too many items at once or something like that. I remember you guys explained it to me once. Um, so quick, we gotta be quick. I don't want to run out of time in this episode. I want to get all this first stuff done. Um, I need to farm this great pumpkin king. I, the, the first year that I ever did, um, Mogloween, I actually, I spent probably a good week of a lot of time every day farming that pumpkin king just to get all of the pumpkin lord set, the class and everything. It took a very long time. Um, I was very impressed though, you know, having, like, it taking so long, it, that's the essence of a good MMO, is having to really get online and play a lot, farm for great periods of time with lots of people, you know, obviously that doesn't work for a lot of people, and, um, MMOs have to make up for that and sort of have all this slower stuff, but AQ Worlds needs a lot of the real grindy stuff, like, just killing the same monster for a couple of hours every day, you know, just 
pop on some music that you like, get in a party with some friends, and then just kill the monster, man. It's so much, it's great, actually. I remember doing uh, Pumpkin Lord, and it was good stuff. Graveyard Werewolf, get out of my life. Come on, game, don't kick me again. Please don't kick me again. So we're collecting a lot of this stuff. How much? Right, I got five more inventory spaces. Do I have any ACs? I have enough to buy another inventory space. Um, another great thing, uh, another like really great thing, and this is something that I don't really want. I don't know. It's kind of weird to talk about it, but basically, um, every month because I'm partnered with TGN, I get like four to six dollars or something for like YouTube revenue, but I don't get any money off AQ Worlds. So it means whenever I want to buy ACs, I buy ACs with money out of my bank. Money that I don't have, really. Um, so the really cool thing about AE wanting to allow more YouTubers, to give more YouTubers permission to um, monetize their videos is, based off the views that I get off you guys, I'll probably be able to afford ACs every now and then, like every two months or something, just from the views from you guys, which means I'll be able to get inventory space and we'll be able to take the Let's Play to the extreme. Because I'm sort of getting to the point now where once I get to level 55, there'll be nothing left to do because I don't have any inventory space. But if I can get inventory space and get some ACs and stuff together, um, I could also do some giveaways. You know, you guys watch my videos and I get money for you guys watching it. But then I could get like a gift card or something, like um, a gift certificate that you can buy on Hero Mart that people then can buy ACs with. And I can give back some of that money to you viewers and then some of you guys who can't buy ACs will have a chance to win some because um, not every player is able to buy ACs obviously we can't all pay to play the game properly um, also you know they could use it to buy membership for three months things like that um, I would feel really good about myself if I could do stuff like that um, if I had the subscribe account like Jininji he has like 12,000 AQ World subscribers and I actually contacted him to find out um, why he's able to monetize and um, that's how I know what I know now um, if I was Jininji, like, he would make enough money to be giving you guys free stuff, like, host hosting competitions, not just giving things away, obviously. Um, the spine tingling howls that are up, so we're gonna kill vampires, worst enemy is the werewolves, alright, we're gonna kill them. So yeah, that's, that's all my random rambling. Um, I'm gonna go over the 30 minute mark, just so we can finish these quests, I think, because, um, I don't wanna leave this, I, I like your stuff, um, Hi, you know who I am? Um, hi there. Sorry, recording. Um, Assassin ODST from Lycan Fang. I actually, I really like your outfit. That's a cool Halloween looking outfit. Well done. Well done. Um, uh, uh, no prob. I'm about to get kicked. Damn it. Is it gonna work? Ah, thank god. I, I really like your outfit. Um, Assassin ODST, please comment below that you were able to see this in me uh, loving your outfit. Because I really like your... Um, if that's meant to be a Halloween outfit, I'm enjoying that. That's really cool. Sorry. Someone just got the Doom Soul Ripper. I'm sorry, ODST, though. You're talking to me right now, but I'm not going to reply. I'm just going to get the video done so I can focus. So, yeah. We're just killing werewolves. Kill werewolves. What time is it? Ah, uh, we've got a minute or so about that. I don't know. I don't want to actually... Oh, I'm going to hit Thriller. Damn it. All right, run. I don't want to deal with him right now. I actually... I have to kill him next, so it's actually really good that... um. I do, yeah. I do remember your name. Sorry. Do-do-do-do. I hate... I, this is the only part of... um. This is the only part of Mogloween that I hate is um, the Thriller because it gets the song Thriller by Michael Jackson stuck in my head. If you don't know that song, you know, there are a lot of um, young AQ Worlds players. If you don't know Thriller by Michael Jackson, I know everyone's like, oh, Michael Jackson, he's a child raper and stuff like that. Thriller is a really good song. Go and listen to it. Trust me. It's really cool. Wow, the attack animations for that um, Battle Mage class look cool, huh? That's good stuff to see. I want to be a battle mage, but there's no way in hell I'm doing it. Alright, we did it! So we're going to have to kill Thriller now, and then I'm going to have to sing the song, obviously. Seriously, if I had the rights to that, I would put it all over this episode, but I don't have the rights to it. There's no way in hell I could get the rights to that. I don't even know if PewDiePie could get the rights to that. Alright. One more quest. We're only a little bit over time. 
So we're going to kill Thriller. Get his gloves of whiteness. Ah, my nose is getting itchy again. It's the humidity, I'm telling you. It's horrible. All right, let's kill Thriller. Hopefully these guys haven't finished killing it yet, and I can finish it off. Cheap attack! Oh, cheap attack! Yeah, there we go. That's brilliant. Yes! All right, let's get out of here. Thank you very much, um, Assassin ODST. I hope your ODST means Orbital Drop Shock Troopers, like Halo, because I really liked ODST, the Halo game. So well done. If it's not, I don't know what you're. I don't know what you're saying. Anyway, now we can check out her shop, because um, I don't remember the shops. So let's have a quick look. I think this is. Oh, there's much more than I remember. Okay, so the ghostly staff, sword of the bat, gargoyle axe, daggers of the bat. Miss Cordia de Nix, Bodiless Horseman Morph, Undead Fighter, Undead Mage, and the Ghostly Blanket. That's brilliant. I'm going to find out if I can get one of them as a pet, though. That's what I really want. So, yeah, guys, this is the first part of Mogloween finished. I really like Mogloween, so um, while I'm in the whole Halloween cheer sort of thing, we'll definitely try and get together in-game with as many fans as I can. We'll farm some of this goddamn Pumpkin King. We'll farm some of the new stuff. I'm really excited for the new stuff this year. Um, Mogloween's always really fun. So yeah, guys, like always, thanks for watching. Um, spread the word, you know, favorite my video, uh, like, share, do all those awesome things because I'd really love to get the name out there, uh, especially with AE starting to look into getting involved with their YouTubers more. Um, what else is there? There was something else I really had to remember to say at the end of the video besides like, like and share. It was, oh, my Facebook. I want to see your Halloween outfits. I'm going to try and make a cool Halloween outfit. Um, I want you guys to send it to me on Facebook. Uh, you're just your Halloween outfit. You know, even like, don't send me your character page if you're wearing it. Take a screenshot, upload it to tinypick.com, and then put the link on my Facebook page, and I'll check it out. If I, have to, if I have time, if there aren't too many of them, I'll reply to you, and I'll let you know what I think. But yeah, guys, Halloween outfits are always cool. Try and use stuff from Halloween. And yeah, guys, like I always, think. Thanks for watching. This has been the AQ World's Let's Play with Ethan R. Pro, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye.